Hi. Welcome to my Power Stroke Rebuild project. We're going to start tearing the motor down. Actually, we've already started. We're really going to get into it. Right now, I've torn out all the injectors, the upper end of the valve train, pulled the head bolts loose. We're going to pull the head off. It's got the problems in it. My number five cylinder has no compression. I have another seven cylinder that's one half of minimum spec. So we're going to see what kind of problems we have in here, and uh, we'll get to it. Let's go. All right. Everything's right, so. free. Uh, fuel line's free here. It's going to take the starter, I mean the glove plug relay. I haven't listed it. I haven't taken off the intake plug here. Right. It's all bolted onto it. Uh, all 18 bolts are free. Exhaust is gone. Clear uh, throughout there. Thinking wrong, this is going to give him away. See how it goes underneath the still turbo pistol. Yep. Like it budged. Okay, so where's my uh, hand me that little work like? So here's my uh, here's my dead cylinders. Let's see if I can illuminate it for the camera. There's physical damage to the tops of the cylinder. That's the tops of the pistons. Well, and there's physical damage to the cylinder bores as well. I don't know if I can get in there or not. It's got a wear ring that's too far down on both cylinders. And on top of that, let me see if I can put that out of the way for a second. They are free in the bore. They're slapping. So, time for fun. The other problem we had was on the, we still had the head on the, on the engine lift. The other problem we had is that the intake valves on number five and number seven are too far recessed. It looks like our valve margin is gone or something. And we haven't cleaned those up yet. There's a little deposit on number... There's some deposits on number five. 
successfully uh, brushed the tops of these off. If you take a look, there's physical damage to the pistons, like something's been knocking around in there. I don't know what, nothing came out in the end when we took the head off, there, there's no foreign objects. Uh, maybe the rings themselves gave way or something and, and, and bits and pieces of them got in there, it I don't know. It also looks like there may be material welded to the tops of the pistons. Yeah, it's possible but that there's been some uh, metal depositing. But there's also noticeable cuts. Um, not exactly sure what's caused it. If you look, the damage is less where the valves sit on the uh, on the piston. So where it, whatever was causing it was slamming around around the valves. Uh, it looks like um, turn the engine a, a hair and let me get this back cylinder up. Now number five cylinder slapping in the bore. Let's see, is number seven cylinder? No. Nope. A little bit. It's got a little play. Bring five all the way to the top. There you go. Okay, now. You can hear that. That's slapping around. That's not good. Come down with it. Now if I can get a good shot, you can see the streaking on the cylinder board. Looks like this one's going to have to be a board over. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get enough out of it. May, may have to, uh, hopefully I don't have to sleeve it. We'll see. We'll tear the rest of it down. The rest of it's okay. We'll tear it down, get measurements off everything, see what's going on. And uh, off to the machine shop we go.